no people here, right? Because it's, it's different. We are all together. We can see uh, each other that people are different kind of interaction. So I'm very also very happy to say we have some alumni, right? Uh, down, and there's some local designers so uh, they're able to join us. And I think uh, some of you probably never been to our space, take some time to, to look around and get to know some of our students. The students will be happy to talk to a lot. Okay, thanks for coming back to your other mother. And uh, so we do not have this next week, but uh, in a few weeks, we have uh, quite a few speakers going to be you know, coming back to back. So, so we have a little uh, list outside the door, but I will send the emails as we remind you. And while you are here, just you know, keep everybody safe. Uh, the temple is pretty safe, but they continue to keep everybody safe. So you can you know, wear your mask, right? You know, the lecture series cover both your mouth and, uh, and nose, okay? Uh, but you don't need to cover your ears, right? Your ears will wide open. <laughs> we do this. Then. Okay, come on in, have a seat. And uh, so after, after the talk, the, the local professionals are allowed might be walking around. If you are around, feel free to talk to them. And uh, feel free to ask questions. I think our students like to uh, get some network right? in their internship, their job opportunities. Maybe they can give you suggestions on your project. Okay, so today we're going to kick off everything with Brian. Our own Brian, he was one of you a few years ago, but suddenly it was a different building. But I just give you the tool, I think you're excited about a new building. It's very so nice. he, uh, yeah. uh, he graduated in 2017, right, from a Master of Industrial Design student, as a program, he was a track three student, got an engineering background, and he has been doing remarkable work, right? Uh, he, uh, you probably remember this, it's outside, it's an expensive machine, we are able to get one of these, and he's gonna tell the story uh, about the project. Okay, so, so Brian, I'd like to introduce yourself and we get started. All right. Okay, let's welcome Brian. Thanks everyone. Uh, first, just want to say again, thank you, yeah, thank you for you know coming and listening to me talk. First of these series, um, like we said out there, I, I got to see it. Um, so if you haven't, the point that one is right out there. You can get a little closer look at what we worked on. Um, my name is Brian Himmelwright. I work for Trig, and so this is um, going to be a little bit about uh, who is Trig, who am I and then the story of the Zeiss UV Clean. Okay. So first off, who is Trig? Right. So maybe some of you have heard of us, uh, maybe not, I'm, I'm not sure, um, but we're fairly local in a sense, um, but we, we all work remote. But um, this is Ty Hagler. He was going to be here today. He had some family issues, so he wasn't able to come. Um, and so Trig is a full service design firm. It was founded by Ty. Um, he's now the principal. Uh, he started out in um, industrial design at Georgia Tech, graduated in 2003. Um, he started working at home for a Home Depot through an Olympics, Olympic job opportunities program. So he was an Olympic cal caliber kayaker. Um, and so they had a program where um, he was able to go through that and get a job there, worked in um, design and, and innovation through Home Depot. Um, then in 2008, he started uh, Trig. A form trick, and then um, you can see that then he got his MBA from NC State in 2011. Um, and so, some numbers over here like I said, we're a full service design firm. Um, he, he lives in Chapel Hill, so we're based in Chapel Hill, our you know, kind of triangle here. But um, we'll get to that later, that we're all kind of spread out. But you see, there are seven plus team members, so we, we've been fluctuating for the past couple of years a little bit, but we've had seven to ten. So, um, you know, I'd say we're a pretty lean and agile team. Um, but you know we're a small close-knit group of designers um and we each have a kind of specific focus of expertise that we we do so it kind of allows us to work together but um also have a big broad range of of services that we can offer um which you can see here so we go through insights and ideation some design and development and brand and digital um, so those are, those are our three services that we uh, market to obviously there's a ton of different things in there um being industrial designers you you know that there's all different types of services that you can do within these um three offerings um basically what you're looking at insights and ideation think you know your markets market research and, and initial kind of gathering of information and research on projects so we do a lot of that um, at the beginning 
um, design and development, you know, concept sketches, concept development, all the way through uh, DFM, design for manufacture, which is a lot of what the Zeiss UV Clean was about. And then our brand and digital, um, you know, delivering competitive positioning for brand and um, online uh, presence for, for companies. So while they're very different, I mean, you guys go through all three of these things in your projects. So we utilize them together a lot of the time. Um, we do have clients that come in for a very specific you know, portion of what they need. So it might be an early entrepreneur and they just need some concept development. It might be a larger company um, and looking for some market research on a new project they have or you know, a new entrepreneur that's going through the whole phase of you know, needs some research, um, needs some development, and let's make a brand to, to start this thing. So we kind of do... Um, all of that kind of mixing together or separate. Um, I'm in the design and development area. Um, it's kind of big, big thing I do. So just kind of looking through there. That's where I'm at. Again, so I said we're we're virtual. Um, so it started in 2008. Uh, Trig went fully virtual in 2011. So this past year was not a big change for our progress, our process. <laughs> um, it was a big change for a lot of other people, but we've been. Um, remote since 2011. Um, so basically just for last year, as we all know, there was kind of a pause with our clients, but then once it started back up, our process was about the exact same as it had been. Um, a lot of online and virtual um, kind of work. So I'm one of those little dots down there on the right. You can probably assume I live in Raleigh. Um, we have someone way out in uh, San Francisco, uh, Charlotte, some in Charlotte, and then uh, Virginia, um, there it is. So kind of, kind of spread out. And let's get to me. So you, you can see me there. I'm right here also, but um, that's my name. Um, I'm from Ohio originally. I came to NC State uh, to, for undergrad, and I also ran cross country and track uh, scholarship. So I came from Ohio to NC State. Um, and I've loved it here though. So I've, I've been here since 2008. Um, and you know, I did my undergrad at NC State and my master's at NC State, and now I'm living here in Raleigh. Um, through my undergraduate time, I found a, a passion for 3D design, so kind of like the you know CAD modeling and stuff like that. Um, but mainly the creativity behind function um, was really the main draw that, that took me into industrial design and made me want to pursue a master's degree in industrial design. So um, that creativity and fun um, behind the function of things, um, which I, when I talk to a lot of designers, there's a lot of that kind of interest in how things work or you know the, the function of stuff, but then is really finding the creativity to, to really bring those to life. What in the end. Um, and so that kind of leads to here um, a little bit. So you can see NC State, I got my bachelor's from NC State in technology, engineering, and design education. So I got an education degree, um, but actually before that I started in mechanical engineering. So kind of telling you a lot of this where I kind of jumped around quite a bit. I started in mechanical engineering. Um, I, I was doing really well, but it wasn't quite exactly what I wanted to do i was more curious and interested in actual design work but i built a big cad kind of background in in the engineering courses um i wanted to kind of use that more so i went into education uh focused on cad and drafting so i did student teaching and drafting and cad work um my final year of my undergrad when i was student teaching i learned what industrial design was so i think some of you guys are undergrads right um, so I had no idea what under industrial design was, even coming into college, and then it took me all through four or five years, and then I found out what industrial design was. Um, so I was like, I want to do that. There's a master's program at NC State, track three. That's great, because if you guys know, track three is for non-design undergrad. Um, so I applied to that, and I was denied, so I didn't get in. <laughs> so uh, that was kind of a bummer, but um, I had one year left of eligibility for running cross country and track at NC State. So I, I wanted to still go into design. That final year I had finished my undergrad. Um, I needed to stay um, eligible and keep kids taking classes. So I pursued all the design courses I could uh, here at State. Um, I searched out a unpaid internship at the product farm, um, which was just mainly one guy doing some stuff. And I contacted him and was like, hey, can I get some help learning? Um, and then I got some design help um, in the summer before applying again, finally did, and I got into NC State. So that's a little bit of my, a little bit of my journey to get there. Um, so I know I talked through a lot of that really quick. I um, just wanted to give you a little bit of a background of me. Um, 
So I'm sure all of you guys have come from different backgrounds. You've been interested in different things. Um, mainly just want to say all of that is super helpful for industrial design. I think you probably hear it all the time.